Teachers. Hola, es hora de Acción Positiva. Mrs. Hot and Miss Shema, we welcome you to our Positive Action Weekly Lesson. La señora Hot y Shema os damos la bienvenida a las clases semanales de Positive Action. Thank you all at home, school, and community for joining us today for our fifth grade positive action lesson. Tanto si estáis en casa como en la escuela, gracias. Gracias por acompañarnos en los vídeos de Acción Positiva para el quinto de primaria. Let's get started. Empecemos. Empecemos. Good morning, awesome partners and super scholars. Mrs. Hot with Hi, this is Shema. And we are so excited to join you for our weekly Positive Action virtual lesson. We welcome you students, whether you are in the classroom, maybe you're home for remote school or virtual academy, or you could be joining us from the neighborhood around West Virginia or beyond. The Morgan County Partnership welcomes you and we're happy that you're here with us for Positive Values Network. Let's get started. All right, Miss Shema, here's what we're going to do today. It's time for Positive Values Network News. Today for Positive Value Virtual Lesson, we are going to watch a creative video. Then we're going to talk about it. Then we're going to look at some positive actions that you can do for creativity. After that, we have an awesome creative activity that's good for your wellness. And then Miss Shema is going to help us say creativity in Spanish. Are you ready, Miss Shema? I am ready, Mrs. Huck. Are you ready, students? All right. Let's get started. Watch this. Creativity. And in Spanish, creatividad. This week for Positive Actions, we're going to share with you a video that Miss Shema and Mrs. Hot made before the pandemic. And think about this, sometimes things like a pandemic happen and we need our creativity to help us do things in new ways. So, Miss Shema and Mrs. Hot learned some great things and tools about making videos and here's one that we made all about creativity. Hope you like it. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you, so... Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Oh! 
Because guess what, Morgan County Scholars, Mrs. Hutt and Miss Shema, we want to talk to you about a positive action word. Ready? Yes. It's good for your, your intellectual, intellectual wellness. wellness. The word of the week. I love this word. You want to tell them what it is? Do you want to tell them? I do. Okay. Boys and girls, this week's word is creativity. Ah! And in Spanish, it is creatividad. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's all say that. Creatividad. Are you ready to get started, Miss Shayla? I'm ready. I am ready to. So, are you ready to talk about a word? Yes. Creativity. So, what? What? Wait a minute, Miss Hot. What is the meaning of creativity? What? Oh. Goodness, Nishima, I love this word. What's the creativity? Word? Now, positive action tells us, and I'm going to show you guys right here in our book. Creativity, creative thinking, means to be able to think of something brand new. Brand new, you guys, right here. To be able to make up something new. Now, how do you do that? You use your brain. Use your intellectual wellness to think of something completely new. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah, new things like when you're thinking of new stuff, your brain goes, wow, wow, wow. And in fact, look at your teacher right now. Yep, you take a look at your teacher, and your teacher has lots of new things to put in your brains, new stuff. It's good for your intellectual <laughs> wellness. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Miss Shama, were you surprised? I was totally surprised. That was awesome. Oh. Students, were you surprised? That was a video with Mrs. Hot and Miss Shama. And I wanted to show you this again this year because we are using creativity for our virtual positive action lessons for you, aren't we? That was a lot of fun. And for those in Morgan County and beyond, we have lots of great pictures of our beautiful county. And it's good for our wellness to take a look around and see how beautiful our environment is. So I hope you guys like seeing that. So, creativity. Can we talk about some positive actions? Are you ready, Miss Shama? I am ready, Mrs. Hutt. You want me to get oh. Oh, Miss Shama. Oh, where'd she go? Hi, Perry. Perry! Hi! Hi! Hi, Miss Shamo! Oh! Hi, boys and girls! So, positive actions for creativity. First of all, Miss Shamo? Yes, Perry? Can you help me? Sure! What do you need? What does creativity mean? Oh, wait, 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 I know. To be able to think of something new. Oh, oh, Miss Shama, students, creativity is so much fun because you use your imagination and find original ideas. And, and guess what? When you're creative, it helps to solve problems and helps us feel better. Right, Miss Shama? Yes, yes, Terry. Mrs. Hart. Mrs. Hot? Woohoo! Mrs. Hot! Ha! What, Perry? Oh, oh, thank you, Miss Shama and Perry. So, yeah, creativity, Miss Shama, that is to be able to think of something new, to use your imagination, and a lot of times we use the arts to come up with new things. And you know what, Miss Shama? We used, we used creativity 
when we make videos, so we use video, we use um, performance, we use music, and we use all sorts of creative things to help us learn new value words. Isn't that cool? Positive Perry was wondering, what are some positive actions to build your creativity? The first one is to do it, okay? Just do it. And maybe you're going to use music or dance or art or, or some sort of thing, but doing it, trying it out. Think outside the box, be willing to make mistakes and try your best. It's all right, but you, when you do it, you might do it wrong. That's okay. The next one, the second one is to read about it. Read, read, read. Reading is great for your imagination. Right, Perry? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Go. Are you listening? That's the next positive action. Yes, listening. Listen to others, okay? Listening. Maybe someone else is creative. Maybe they play an instrument. Listen to music. Listen to readings and, and, and podcasts and things like that. The fourth one is to practice. You can practice your creativity with the arts, painting, being creative, music, or you can also practice your academics. And that's a creative way to help with math facts and learning new words. Maybe another one, number five, you might want to take lessons. But you know what? Since we are all in virtual school a lot lately, and sometimes lessons are expensive, maybe you can Google. There's all kinds of valuable teachers online to help you learn about your creativity. Mrs. Host, I, I, I have something about that. You know what? Perry. What? Yes. Perry, how did you get over there? <laughs> it's magic, Mrs. Host. Well, you said about we can't take lessons now because we are home, but you know what? I sometimes I ask somebody in my house if they can help me to Google something. Like now, I'm learning because I like to play guitar, so I'm learning to play a guitar. And I can't take lessons now, but I ask somebody, I ask somebody here in my house, they Google for me how to play guitar, licensed guitar. So, they have a video and I'm learning, yay! Yay! But, but it's so creative to learn from, aren't they, Perry? That's awesome. And, and you know what, Perry? There's something not far from us called the Black Cat Music Clo-Op. That's in Morgan County. And they're gonna have a way to help you and you don't need to have money for lessons. It's all gonna be free, in fact, Miss Shama and I, we have a friend named Jonathan McBee from the Black Cat Co-op, and he's going to tell us about great ways to learn music and be creative. That's so cool. Yeah, awesome. thank you for sharing that, Mrs. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming by, Perry. Wait, bye, bye, bye. Uh, Perry, what? there he goes again. Do, 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 do. Good job, Super Scholars. Thank you, Perry, for helping us learn more about positive actions for our creativity. This week for Positive Actions, we have a activity for you. Are you ready, Miss Shama? I am ready, Mrs. Hunt. This is gonna be so much fun. Look at positivevaluesnetwork.com under materials, and you'll see this week's activity, and it's great because we're learning that creativity also helps our wellness. It helps our mental health, and it helps us feel good too when we're creative. I think you're gonna love this, students. Here we go. This week for our Positive Actions activity, go to the Materials tab in the upper right corner located on positivevaluesnetwork.com and you'll find something fun to do for creativity. Are you ready? Let's get started. Find your creativity paper and gather someone from your family. Pick out your favorite song and then have a dance party. Getting up and moving and having silly fun with your friends and family is a great way to get those creative juices flowing. Here's a song you can do with Mrs. Shema and Mrs. Hot, the Positive Actions theme song. Are you ready? Let's get started and we want you to have a dance party and be creative with your family along with music, using creativity, movement and fun. I am positive 
Activity for us. I hope you had fun being creative and dancing and using music to help you feel good. You want to know something? <coughs> Creativity is good for your intellectual <laughs> wellness. Boys and girls, I want you to say that with Miss Shema and I. You ready? Intellectual <laughs> wellness. And those mean thought that means thoughts and actions that are good and healthy for our brains. And I want to talk to you about something. Miss Shema, students, healthy brains are so important right now, okay? Healthy brains. You, many of you guys are in school, maybe you're a first grader, maybe you're a 12th grader, but exercising that brain is so positive today to have a better future tomorrow. So I know we've been home a lot, a lot because of the pandemic, but exercising this brain helps you feel better here, right? And it makes you stronger in school too. All right, Miss Shima, it's time to say creativity in Spanish. I need some help. For sure. Creativity in Spanish, it's almost like English. There are similar words. So creativity in English and in Spanish is creatividad. Let's say it together. Creatividad. Good job. One more time. Ready? Creatividad. Wow. Oh, you know what? That, you know what I think is really cool? There are so many English words and Spanish words that are so similar. I didn't realize that. And learning new things is an intellectual wellness. It, it is good for your brain. All right, Super Scholars and Miss Shema, it's time to get going. Remember, this week, do a positive action that is good for your creativity. Creativity is a great value to help grow a healthy brain, and it helps you feel better, too. All right, let's get going. Remember this. You are unique. unique. You are important. important. And you are, you are wonderfully made. Hi everyone, it's Miss Lacey here from Woodmeyer Elementary School, where I'm the school-based therapist. Wanted to share with you all another doodle activity this week, um, including our positive action word of creativity for the week. Our first quote is, creativity is contagious, pass it on. And that's by Albert Einstein. And our second quote is, every child is an artist. And that's by Picasso. So remember, just color these, decorate them, give them to a neighbor, a friend, or hang them in a window where neighbors or delivery people might see them. Um, anybody who you think could use a little bit of positivity in their day. I hope you all are staying healthy and safe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. We are so glad you joined us today from your home, your school, and our community. Estamos muy felices porque nos habéis acompañado desde vuestra escuela, vuestra casa, vuestra comunidad. Remember, you are unique, you are important, and you are wonderful. Thing. Recordad que sois especiales, importantes, y maravillosos.